friends, family, and whoever else may uh, happen to see this video. Um, as most of you that know me have known, or know, um, I took up machining and so on as a career, and um, I've always liked to tinker with mechanical things and so on of any any sort. And a uh, long time ago, I uh, got these plans for a little little model engine, and uh, it was um, designed by a fellow named Jerry Howell. And uh, these were the plans I got. I just got paper plans and uh, not really anything else. Um, everything else, everything was um, scrounged up and made and so on. And um, I just kind of took a liking to this because it didn't have, it didn't need castings or anything like that to make it. So I, I could see myself making it. And um, it was also kind of intriguing that it would, uh, it would run off of uh, something as basic as uh, the heat off of a cup of coffee. So uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to make, and it was. I uh, bought the plan somewhere back in the early 2000s, and um, just now finally got around to um, finishing up the last pieces and putting it together and seeing it work. So I thought I'd share it, because uh, I thought it was pretty pretty cool uh, how it works. So um, here I'm going to put this on this uh, hot cup, or cup of hot water and uh, get it running then I'll zoom the camera in and uh, show it running. Okay, so here it is uh, zoomed in. And um, it should be hot enough to turn over now. It's been about a minute. And it'll eventually pick up speed. If it keeps going. Must still be a little bit too cool. Okay, there it's picking up a little bit now. I'm starting to get worried there for a second. <laughs> but um, this thing all came out of uh, scrap metal. Um, these these plates right here were scrap, and uh, this flywheel it uh, started out is uh, a piece just like this and um, that I found and had to work around previous holes in it and so on but uh, the, everything is either made out of aluminum or brass or uh, stainless steel um, this and this and then these two pieces are stainless and um, the brass is pretty obvious because it's a different color. With the flywheel and the column, this little base down here, and these upper and lower plates are aluminum. All of the aluminum was uh, scrounge metal that used to be something else. Oh yeah, and the connecting rod is aluminum.
But um, the way this works is this plate, this plate has to be a different temperature than that plate. And this little uh, piece of foam in here, this polystyrene foam like you get at Lowe's or Home Depot for insulation. And um, when it goes to either the hot or the cold side, it'll um, cause the air inside this chamber here to change change its volume. It'll either expand or contract. And uh, this piston right here is uh, attached to that enclosure. So um, it is, when it expands and contracts, it pushes and it pulls on this uh, piston. And um, the piston is uh, or the connecting rod for the piston is uh, 90 degrees off from the connecting rod to this little disc that goes up and down. So it the timing of it makes it constantly keep going. Um, this thing right here is supposed to be able to sit in the palm of your hand and just the heat off of your hand is supposed to make it run but mine has a little bit too much friction in it it doesn't it's either too much friction or there's an air leak slightly somewhere but mine won't do it it'll run good on a cup of coffee or a hot cup of coffee though or hot water um, my cup of water apparently cooled down a little bit because this would run a little faster than this. Mine will run about 20 minutes on uh, on a hot cup of water. I've heard others say that they'll run for uh, up to an hour and a half. Um, that's pretty incredible. I don't see mine doing that. But um, in any case, the plans um, they can be found uh, the website for for the plans is um, is uh, jerryhowell.com or yeah jerry dash e or I'm saying this wrong jerry dash howell dot com and how is H O W E L L so so in any case I thought this was a pretty cool little project thought I would share it with everybody see anybody else thought it was as interesting as I did. So, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.